Listen, I am a single mom, so if you're not finna come over here and make my life easier or take something off my plate, you don't have no reason in my DMs or in my text messages. Cause baby, what am I gonna do with you? Black Ram 313, back at it again, you know why? It's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, hence another therapy session. Today's topic and title, well, you heard what Shorty had to say. Let's talk about it. Let me critique it. The creature said, don't even bother getting in her DMs unless you can take some of the burdens that she has off her plate and that you can make her life easier. If you're not looking to do that right off the bat, don't jump into her DMs. So to start, to even have a conversation with her, you have to come into her DMs with the thought or the idea, how can I help you out? Such entitlement, such narcissism. Let's think about this for a minute. So let me get this straight. You are a single parent, okay? Tough job, I'm sure. I'm not saying it's anything easy about that. Tough job. Tough job, I'm sure. Nothing easy about that. And most likely there's not a father around. Nothing easy about that, right? But here's the thing. <laughs> At some point you made the choice to procreate with the guy who apparently may not be around anymore for whatever reason. And most likely we know that that's Thuggle and Nim, right? More than likely. So you made a bad decision. Poor choice. Not being with the father of your child. Now, I don't know if you were married and divorced. I don't know the circumstance. But I know that here's a solution here. How about before you procreate, you make sure you are married to someone who can help you take care of that little one. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's too much like right. That's over the head of the modern and probably the majority of BA dubs. It's just what it is, a fact, right? A factoid. They put the cart before the horse. Let me have a little one and then think about getting married. Let me have a little one with somebody else and then find somebody to help me take care of this little one. Backwards, yes. But such is the B-dub. Now here's the thing. I did not have fun making it but you want me to have the burden of taking care of it. Somebody else's genetic legacy. Somebody else's pride and joy. So it's my job, even before I get into your DMs, to take the task of taking care of somebody else's little one. Doesn't have my genetics, doesn't have my last name, but I'm obligated to ensure the survival of another man's genetic legacy. The only problem is, because I expect the creature to want something like that. The only issue is that you have the SIMPs, which there is no shortage of, who are willing, in a lot of cases, ready and able to do such a thing. And guys like this have no pride, no self-esteem, no dignity, nor self-respect. Such a thing is absent from them. Because why would a man ever think that it's a good idea to raise another man's genetic legacy and handle another man's genetic material. I mean, my goodness, what self-respecting guy wants to do that? To take your resources to ensure the survival of somebody else's genes. I don't get it. That's something only the SIMP understands. And of course, that's something the BA dub in mass wants. But of course, this is a global and worldwide phenomenon. But let me speak again to the arrogance and the entitlement. So someone else has to pay for the mistakes that you made. A stranger, someone that you don't even know, right off the bat to talk to you. Now here's the thing. Out of all the ladies that are out here, yeah, a lot of them have little ones. But there are some who don't. And then you can travel internationally, of course. Why would I look past all of the ladies who doesn't have those burdens to get to you to help you take care of something? And also, what happens to your strength and independence? What happened to, I don't need no man? 
well, it looks like you do need one. You want somebody to help you take care of the baby. I guess the state in your job isn't enough. We know you get preferential hiring, and we know the state to take care of you, but apparently that's not enough. So to even get in your DMs, a guy has to be willing to take care of your baby. Now, here's the thing. Tell me what's the difference between what she's asking for and what a streetwalker is asking for and expects. There's minor differences, but it's essentially the same. It sounds like pay to play to me, right? Or am I tripping? That's what it sounds like. You can't get in her DMs unless you help her out. And of course, she's talking about financially. She's looking for a stepdaddy. So that's what you have to do. And it's costly to be that stepdaddy. She taking applications. Is that something that you want? And why would you want it? But the entitlement will never cease. The narcissism will never end. The creature thinks that it deserves all that you've worked hard for. So let me break it down like this before I go. You, as a man, most likely have played by the rules. You went to high school. Instead of skipping class, you went to class. You studied. You got the good grades. You stayed up all night preparing for the test. You did your term paper. Turned it in on time. And then you probably went to college or trade school to work hard. Now you yourself, the average thinking man, notice I said thinking man, not thuggo. The average thinking man has some form of higher education past high school. Whether if that's a, a trade or a CDL or what have you. So you made all of these right choices. Not popping off, you know, some B-dub in the hood or even an educated one. So you maintain discipline and not doing that. You also went to school and did fairly well. Now all of that hard work, all of that delayed gratification, all of that, you're gonna squander that by taking care of a little one that is not yours. So while you were disciplined in doing what you were doing, and not that you did it for this reason, but you are, and have the ability to raise a family, have the ability to be a good husband, have the ability to be a breadwinner, a leader. You have all of those abilities. But this creature chose someone opposite. So now it's your job as a responsible man to be responsible for what an irresponsible man did. Does that make any sense to you? Does it make any sense to you? It's ridiculous of a concept to think that I should have to pay for your mistakes. You made your bed, now lie in it. Now I'm sure the SIMP brigade will be out in force watching this video and saying, hey, I'll take care of uh, the little one by another guy. And that's sad and pitiful. But I think that sometimes these ladies know that these guys are insincere and in playing a game and that they are self-esteem and that their self-worth is lacking. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, the stepdad gets no respect. Not from the kids, which really doesn't mean anything anyway, and definitely not for the woman. Because even she understands, how could you think so low of yourself? Sure, she'll take the help. Yeah. Yeah. And pretend to love you. But respect, not saying that the respect is worth anything, will never be there. And once your utility is used up, well, then it's over with. I talked to a lady a while back, and she had a guy that was pretty much a stepdad to her kids. And uh, I asked, hey, why, why did you love about him? What did you love? That was my question. You, you with this guy for some years. What was it about him that you loved? Just curious. Just asking a survey question because I knew he was a stepdad. And the creature went on to say that she loved how he supported her and her little ones. That's it. Just loved them for the utility that he is. And at this point in life, I know people are at all different levels of knowledge. But if anybody has ever heard anything like this or seen anything like this, I mean, even if you are SIMP, you've seen what a failure 
melanated relationships or, or just Western relationships are in general, or even globally. And you see how these guys are used, the stepdads. So if you're going to volunteer to step up and be a stepdad, well, then you deserve to get stepped on, period. So I won't feel bad for you if you think that you're obligated and that it's your job to ease the burden of this arrogant and narcissistic creature. Where's your dignity? Where's your self-respect? Now, don't get me wrong. This is Black Round 313. I'll catch you release. I'll smash. I might even fake, you know, pump fake. I'll fake like, you know what I mean? I'll do something. I'm not beyond that. I don't look at the creature like you look at the creature. You look at the creature with respect. I don't. No, 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 no. I only respect the respectable. And since most of my H to the Izzos, no respect for me. But hey, this is Black Run 313. Ain't nobody like me. I can say more. But I think I've made my point. Black Run 313.